Hi Virgo, welcome to your March love reading. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at a love connection for you for uh, this time. And this has to be actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You have to at least know one another. Don't necessarily have to be together, whatever your situation is. But you have to at least know them or know each other and believe there is some sort of connection between the two of you. So let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Welcome in. I hope everybody is doing well. So let's see what's going on for Virgo in love at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box to your love in general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip, donate, send a gift. All that information is below, and during the uh, premiere, if you'd like to also tip or donate in that way, Super Chat is available for that option also. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male, female, could be past, present, or future. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on. Only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting, it's probably not your reading. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, it's totally fine. So what do we have for Virgo Spirit, please, for their connection? Who are they thinking of at this time? Can we have one card for Virgo, please? Thank you so much. Let's try again, and I may just take a random one. Let's take that one. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. So we have Pluto, which I believe is Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. If not, that's totally fine, or maybe they have it in their chart. But Pluto is uh, life, death, rebirth, sex, power, and control. So it's like those basic instincts of life. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. So with this deck here, I'm going to get an opening, sort of like a love connection energy between the two of you, sort of like an opening message. See what's going on for Virgo and love at this time. Spirit, please thank you so much. Between Virgo and the person they are thinking of at this time, what is the love connection energy between them? So we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So somebody needs to express their love in this situation. So what I'm going to do, oh, not time yet. Virgo, I'm going to put you here and your person here, and we're going to get one card each for how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. But if any time throughout this reading you feel like the energies need to be switched, flipped, reversed, please feel free to do that at any point. All right, Virgo, let's see how you are feeling about your person and the connection spirit, please. There we go. And we have, so we have two cards here are expressing we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Big-time expressions and conversations need to be had here between you and your person. So let's see how your person is feeling about you. But they have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So they may just want to get alone and go away with you. Get you alone, get away. Or they could be retreating from you. I don't know. We'll see when we get into the tarot. But I'm not really feeling that with all this heart-to-heart -heart conversations, expressing love. And you see this couple going off together alone. <clears throat> and then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So if this person did retreat from you for some reason, then I see they are worth waiting for. If they have to go, if they had to go off and take care of some things, personal things, or whatever they had to do. Um, but I feel like if you come back together, there definitely will be expressions of love and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And if you're wondering if you should wait for this person, I would say yes. That's what the cards are telling me. There may be a rebirth in this situation. All right, so... Let's get some tarot on this, Virgo. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have tipped, donate, sent a, sent a gift, or reached out for personal reading. Thank you, thank you. All your support really means a lot to me and the channel. So thank you so much. And we just hit 10K subscribers. Thank you, thank you. So in honor of that, I'm having a contest, a giveaway to win a tarot deck. 
and a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me. So I will do your reading with the tarot deck and then I will send you that tarot deck and it'll be yours to keep. So if you would like to enter the contest, I will put a link in the description box and the top comment. It'll take you to the community tab of the channel where I made a post about the contest. And there you will find everything you need on how to enter and everything. So if you'd like to do that, then please find that and follow the link. And you have all the information there that you need. The contest will be open till the end of March. I will close it April 1st, and then I will pick a winner. So if you choose to do that, good luck and thank you. <clears throat> okay, Virgo, let's see what is going on here, Virgo. Let's see what this heart-to-heart -heart conversations is about. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. For Virgo spirit, please, thank you so much. What is that about for Virgo? So we have the Eight of Wands, and there's that travel, action, and communication. A lot of communication. Pa fiery, passionate communication. The Wands of Love, Cupid's Arrows. Fast action travel communication there. And strength. So very strong, strong feelings here could be that you have for this person. You feel the strong bond and you're waiting for this communication from them. I feel like now perhaps they have retreated from you for some reason. Maybe they just had to go off and take something. Maybe they had to go away for some reason for their job. Or they had to, maybe they were deployed. I don't know, something here where they had to um, go off and take care of something or do something. And you're waiting for their return to have conversations on this strong bond and connection between the two of you. And you're having the strength, the courage, the willpower to wait. All right, so what is this retreat about for your person? What are they doing here? Could be different from for every... Everybody out there, this is a general collective reading, so <clears throat> why is retreat here? Queen of Cups. Well, they definitely do have king or queen, doesn't matter. They definitely do have love and emotions here and feelings for you. They see you as somebody very loving, caring, nurturing, and giving energy also. And the king, wow, the king and queen of cups. So they see, they see... This is a power couple here. This is a soulmate couple, divine counterparts. Even though they have to go away to do whatever they have to do, they look at you as their divine counterpart, their divine soulmate kind of energy here. The king and queen of cups, matching couple, definite divine soulmate energy here. And you know this, you feel that strong bond. And you're waiting for their return to have this conversation, to move this forward passionately. Wow. Wow. So let's see, <clears throat> sorry, let's get a sip of water here. Let's see what the actual, what the situation is. What is going on here for you, Virgo? Seven of Cups. So feeling a little disillusioned, confused, maybe, you know, just daydreaming about this person while you're waiting for their return. Five of Cups, feeling the sadness and loss without them. There definitely is a lot of love and emotions here with all these cups here. So you're, I feel daydream, you're sad <laughs> that they're going away. It's like you're looking, like when are they coming back? Like looking in that direction. When are they coming back? And when they come back, they will, you'll be, you're facing each other and they will be offering their love as, it, as this person is offering the cup. And you're waiting, you're waiting. All right, so what do we have here? The moon energy between the two of you. So very deep, deep feelings between the two of you. <clears throat> here, love, a lot of love and emotions and deep, deep feelings. Also not really seeing the path clearly right now with the moon energy down the road because of whatever circumstances are right now. For the two of you, you know, can't really see things clearly. But there definitely are a lot of love and emotions between the two of you. Deep feelings with the moon energy. Prince of Pentacles. So they will be coming back with an offer. They're stable, they're secure, they're smart, they're practical. They have a solid offer. As you see, handing the offer here. So, yep. So they're offering their pentacle and their love. Their stability and their love when they come back. 
what else here? The Fool, and they want to take this risk. Leap of Faith with you. They want a brand new start. They want to start over from ground zero. Rebuild. Jump right in. Take the Leap of Faith. Offering their pentacle. Offering their love. Wow. Okay. So I don't know what, why uh, they're retreating. Only you would know that. So whatever they had to go away, take care of. Maybe they had to go on a long business trip. Maybe they had to go take care of family matters in another state. Maybe they got deployed. Maybe, I don't know, whatever here. Whatever they had to do. Uh, maybe they went on an actual retreat of some kind. But they're coming back with love and stability. And they want to jump right in here and take the leap of faith with you. So let's see what is the advice in this connection. Four of Wands. So that's my Twin Flame card. Soulmate Twin Flame card. Stability, commitment. Wow. King of Swords. So having mental clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, standing up, not backing down, fighting for this. Open, honest, truthful communication with the King of Swords is all about communication, truth, clarity. Ace of Pentacles. So there's the offer coming in. Brand new beginning, divinely guided. Stable, secure, built on a firm foundation, moving forward for long term. Five of one, so a little conflict here um, or competition. I don't feel like it's conflict between the two of you, like fights or arguments. It could be somebody has a little bit of inner conflict. <clears throat> or maybe they know. If they don't return soon, that there could be competition that they might have to fight for your attention. But I don't feel like they have to worry about that. And this does remind me of the Ace of Cups, even though it's the Five of Wands. So I feel like they really want to give this to you now, but something is preventing them from doing so. And they're very conflicted, like angry, not angry, but very like upset that they can't give you what they want to give you right now because they have to go in this retreat mode. That's what I'm feeling with the five of wands. So the advice here is <clears throat> just know, have that mental clarity. They will come back and offer you the stable new beginning for the long term and be very stable, uh, committed home life between the two of you. Could be marriage in the future, long term commitment. Definitely soulmate twin flame energy here, especially with the same suit up here. They are worth waiting for. Okay, so what is the possible outcome for you, Virgo? Well, well, I need four, and I have four. So we have the Princess of Cups, Page of Cups. We have the Chariot, moving this forward. So coming in, moving forward with love, communication, love offer. King of Wands, a very fiery, passionate go-getter energy. Actually, I only needed three, so I'm not going to take that one. So, yeah, this person is going to come in with a lot of drive, ambition, go-getter energy, going after what they want, coming in with words of affection, love, love offers, and this moving forward with a lot of drive, balance, ambition, victory, success very quickly. When they come back, this is going to move forward very quickly. They're going to be expressing their love. You're going to want to move this forward very passionately and it'll be very successful, victorious, and be moving forward. This love will be moving forward very fast to stability, long-term commitment, love, passion, divine soulmates. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Virgo. So we have the tower. Actually, I just put that there. So I'm just going to shuffle a little bit because I had just picked that up and put that there so I don't feel comfortable. Okay. So, yeah, equal give and take between the two of you, equal reciprocity, balance between the two of you, very stable energy. Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So, Seven of Pentacles is about patiently waiting, and the Seven of Swords can be, can be you know, sneaking away from something or some sort of lies or deceit. I'm not getting lies, deceit. Um, whatever they got to go and take care of, I feel like they want to resolve it quickly, they want to return quickly. 
So that's why I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. And they know you're waiting for them. So the Eight of Pentacles is putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work with the Two of Pentacles. So things aren't balanced right now because of whatever uh, they've had to retreat to. But when they come back, they want to work on this for the long term and put in the dedicated effort. Then taking control of a situation here, taking lead, taking charge, divine masculine energy here. And they will come forward and take lead, take charge also because you are soulmate lovers here. Soulmate lovers. This is divine timing, divine wheel of fortune, something meant to be. Things going in a better direction once they return. And making a judgment call, a final decision about soulmates coming together because we have the Ace of Cups now. And I had seen that over here. So here's divinely guided, brain will be getting in love and emotions overflowing. Starting a new world with your person. They could be closing out a chapter of some kind there. That's why they had to retreat. I'm not getting like another relationship. I don't know. Something they have to go take care of or they had to leave or go on, maybe go on a long business trip or something here. They just had to go take care of whatever that is for you. So while they close that out, they're coming back with the Ace of Cups. So let's see. We have Scorpio here. We have Sagittarius. We have Gemini. We have Aries. Uh, let's see. We have Scorpio here. <clears throat> we have Leo. Um, let's see. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have, let's see, Pisces here. We have Aquarius. We have Cancer. And we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and we have Leo Sagittarius. So those are basically almost all the signs are here. All right, so. Oh, and the King of Swords, that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius also. So all the signs are here. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you here. Virgo, 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 Virgo. I do ask Virgo, if you're new, Please check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you'll get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus reading. And if you do, thank you. So let's see what messages we have for Virgo with this connection. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What messages do we have for Virgo on this connection? Woo! So we have here, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. And I definitely feel like there's space between you right now, but they are coming back and they are worth waiting for. All right. So let's get a few more for Virgo. Virgo. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So maybe they admired you at one time or maybe they admired you or you admired them for a long time before this connection uh, came into union. All right, so, or maybe when they return, they're really going to tell you how they truly feel. We have here, deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. So if you're feeling like, should I wait or not? It's totally up to you, do what feels right for you. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And we have here, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Yeah, they're coming back with their love. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So you truly desire this, this person. And I just saw the Twin of Flame card to show to me. Um, you definitely want this person. You desire them. You want them, they want you, and they're coming back with the blessing of their love and a long-term commitment, and we have that all that energy here. Wow. Okay, Virgo, well, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.